Now to Anambra State, where concerns are growing that Saturday's governorship election may be disrupted by the one-week sit-at-home ordered by the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra in the southeast. The Independence National Electoral Commission is forging ahead with preparation for the conduct of a heat-free exercise. TVC News senior political correspondent Ayo Delio Zubapon reports from the state capital, Oka. For three months now, people across the southeast have been compelled to observe several sit-at-home sessions ordered by the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra IPOB. This is to push for the release of the leader of the group, Nam Kano, who is standing trial over charges of treason at the Federal High Court Abuja. A week sit at home by IPOB is threatening the peaceful conduct of the 2021 Anambra governorship elections slated for Saturday, the 6th of November. This is Oka, the state capital. Shops, businesses and other commercial enterprises are totally paralyzed. Major highways are deserted and devoid of the busy vehicular movements. Four years ago, only 22% of the total registered voters elected Governor Willie Obiano. Analysts are of the view that if the security situation is not addressed, Saturday governorship election might witness another round of voter apathy. It will uh, give rise to apathy. But of course, you know that uh, apathy has been the issue in Anambra State. In the last uh, election, 2017, and even before that, we discovered that the number of people that came out to vote was much, much lower than the expected number. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says it has fulfilled 12 sets to conduct the election. People have been scared based on the uh, on, um, insecurity situation. It requires us to, you know, the media to come up with a system of uh, giving the public the information that will enable them to take the right decision. To address the grave security concerns, the Inspector General of Police is deploying two Deputy Inspectors General of Police, Joseph Ibunike in charge of Force Criminal Investigation Department and Ahmed Zaki who is in charge of operations at the Force Headquarters. They will be assisted by five Assistant Inspector General of Police, 14 Commissioner of Police, 31 Deputy Commissioners of Police and 48 Assistant Commissioners of Police. 34,587 operatives who will consist of conventional police officers, police mobile force, the counter-terrorism unit and special forces as well as medical team will man the 21 local government areas of the states for peaceful conduct of the election on Saturday. According to the Independent National Electoral Commission statistics, over 2.5 million registered voters are in Anambra State. Four years ago, 22% of these people partook in the governorship election. But what is going to happen ahead of Saturday's governorship election will be determined by the security situation around the states. From Oka, Ayodile Uzubaku, TVC News, Anambra State.